Um, this field is uh, one of the fields next to one of the fields that we had sheep on earlier on this year. So we're going to compare what we get off this field to, compared to the uh, fields that we had sheep on that we grazed um, in the spring. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see if there's any difference. Uh, as you can see, this has also been under sown with clover, uh, so it'll have sheep on and again on it again uh, pretty soon. Uh, so we can get the sheep off last year's clover, uh, hopefully get that subsoiled, and then um, deal with the clover uh, ready for a first winter wheat crop. I'm just standing on one of the fields uh, of wheat that's now been harvested that we put the sheep on. Uh, earlier in the spring to uh, graze the wheat and uh, just following on from my previous uh, clips um, speaking to the combine driver you know he feels actually that from the yield meter on the combine that actually there was no uh, yield difference on the bits of wheat that the sheep grazed uh, compared to uh, the field uh, just over there in the distance that didn't have the sheep on um, so I suppose the positive message from that is that um, the sheep didn't do any damage uh, and that they were fed so obviously that's a, a, that's a, a, a benefit. Um, I think possibly uh, the sheep did eat some of the more diseased lower leaves of the wheat which uh, looking at my, my previous clip you know possibly has brought um, the specific weight probably of the seed up, the seed looks bolder uh, than the seed that came off the field that didn't have the sheep on. Uh, and also the other point really is that um, last year in the early spring before we had all the cold wet April weather uh, was very very dry and so it couldn't have been a better year really than sort of doing this experiment with the sheep because this is very heavy soil and they uh, didn't poach the land up in that early part of spring uh, which can be very wet and I think if it had been very wet the sheep might have done more damage. So I think it was a really good year to do it uh, just purely out of luck. Um, I would definitely do it again next year um, if the weather conditions allowed. Um, but as I say it doesn't seem to be that there's any uh, yield benefit from having the sheep on there particularly. Uh, but when I get the yield maps back from the combine, I'll take a more detailed look at those to see if I can spot any uh, positive news from them.